Uh, first, I want to thank everyone for coming out. This is an important day. Uh, when I first was elected, um, to many of our disenfranchised citizens who ride our paratransit uh, complained of opportunities, complained of the conditions of the vehicles, and through the help of many of our friends, uh, we've been able to acquire 15 new vehicles uh, with the help of West Florida Regional Planning and our friends uh, at FDOT, so we're very grateful and we're very thankful. I want to recognize a few people here uh, that are very instrumental in this. Uh, Julie, is Julie here? Julie, we want to thank you for your many years of service. I mean, you've done great and we're on the right way because of you, so thank you so much. And uh, Howard, who's preceded her, Howard's here um, somewhere sitting down. Well, I didn't see you. And thank you, Vicki Garrett, for everything that you're doing with West Florida Regional planning that means a lot uh, to our people who ride it Miss Jackson that are here thank you so much and uh, to our new partners um, Tanya and Howard thank you so much Harold thank you uh, for, for your efforts to Larry Newsom our uh, interim or our assistant administrator uh, who's very passionate about making this happen um, and working with Don Don thank you uh, many of you went beyond the scope of working for the county uh, to make this happen uh, the last thing that you want to hear is a politician talk on a warm, hot July day. Uh, but the reality of it is that if we don't improve our transportation, if we don't care for the, our, our citizens who have the most obstacles, then uh, our mission will not be accomplished in having economic development and having a great transportation system. Uh, and that's why we reach out to our nonprofit non friends, uh, Trudy. O'Brien, who I've worked with for years, Trudy, thank you. Thank you for your passion, and thank you for working with those who have disabilities. We're very grateful for our partnership. At this time, I'm going to introduce Harold Humphreys, who is now taking over our transportation from First Transit. Please welcome Harold. Thank you. Well, welcome, everybody. I think uh, sitting here at the podium and looking at everybody that's in the crowd, I, I'm very excited about the new vehicles, very excited about our work, working relationship with the West Florida Regional Planning Council. Commission, Commission staff, also with the ATU, been very great in the transition. Uh, along with the vehicles we got, we have some new technology here to implement in the county. We got some uh, GPS AVL systems that are going to be great for the drivers. Uh, tablets that'll locate where they're at, and if they get lost, we'll also guide them to the next pickup. So that's part of the package that we bring to the uh, to the county to help improve the services. And I'm just really excited. Uh, can't wait to get through this transition. It's been a bit challenging. Uh, but thanks again to the uh, ATU and the support with the drivers. We've been doing the best we can. We really do appreciate it. And this is what government really is about. It's about taking the public sector with the private sector, nonprofits, working together for the good of all citizens. Uh, I mean, Mike Lauer, we're glad you're here. Without the urging of the union and, and without your constant support of bringing your members down to the commission, I don't think that we've had this support. So we, we've accomplished some milestones here today in getting 15 new vehicles. There's more to come. We have seven more vehicles that are on the way. And so eventually we'll get there. We're not there yet. But with the help of community partners like each of you and with the help of good staff, uh, we will get there. And eventually we will have a first-class public transportation for not just those with disabilities, but for all citizens. So I want to thank our PIO, uh, Kathleen, for being here. Thank all of those. But most importantly, I think that I'm humbled to know that our riders are now being able to ride in something that the seat is not torn, seat belts work, the air is blowing, and they can feel comfortable and safe in getting to their apartments and knowing that they will arrive there in conference. So again, thank you, thank Pensacola, and I thank my fellow commissioners for joining me and supporting me. Thank you for being here.